I moved on to become the CEO of uh, the Television Bureau of Advertising in New York. It's our marketing trade association. And after a couple of years of doing that, had the opportunity to join WNBC, the flagship station uh, owned by NBC in New York, as the CEO. Uh, spent uh, about three years doing that and had the opportunity to move to Cincinnati uh, to run uh, uh, another uh, broadcast group that came to be known as uh, first Great American, then Citycasters, then j uh, and then finally Clear Channel, where I ended my career as uh, the CEO of Clear Channel Television. Uh, we ended up selling 56 TV stations in 25 markets. So all of that was uh, a really uh, wonderful career when broadcasting and television in particular was at its peak. Uh, but I described the threats uh, from all of the diversities of media. And what I'm seeing now is my friends in the business who are my age, retirement age and beyond, are saying, thank heaven we're getting out of the business. Uh, don't want to be in the business anymore. I spent uh, a couple of years consulting with uh, about 25 small market operators after I retired, uh, putting together programs for them on uh, how to focus their energies on staying in business and preserving these family owned enterprises. And now I've retired from that, but I'm almost daily reading reports that these old friends and colleagues are selling their companies uh, to the larger broadcast groups. It seems in this day of threat, the only way to survive is by adding scale. And so the broadcast groups get larger and larger, and uh, the family businesses team seem to be shrinking smaller and smaller. The final point about that, I think, is that uh, a regulatory agency, the FCC in Washington, is made up largely of individuals who had no particular background at all in broadcasting. Uh, they are younger and of an era when it's always been a high multiplicity of media. So they don't seem to value a transmitter uh, and uh, what it means to a local community. My whole career has been built on localism, serving a local community, meeting local needs for news and information and entertainment. And that's harder and harder to do these days. And uh, so many of my old friends are now saying, enough already. Uh, uh, we're just going to have to fade uh, into the background. Will there be a broadcast television in the future? I'm not sure. Uh, as we go forward into the next generation, uh, maybe there won't be a need for a transmitter of one to many. Uh, the whole focus is on content. Content is king, the program is king, and it doesn't matter whether it comes to the consumer via a transmitter or through broadband on a cell phone, through the internet, or through a very large screen TV set.